Hello, my name is Corey, and this is a tutorial on how to pick the right AdSense unit and how to set it up uh, in the correct way so it makes you the most money. I'm assuming that you've already signed up for AdSense and um, you're logged into your account. Once um, you've arrived um, on the home page, click on My Ads, and this is where we're going to be setting up a new ad unit. First, let's name uh, uh, our ad unit. And uh, my rule of thumb with this is that uh, I use the site name. In this case, let's just call it my mysite.com. And after that, I'm just going to use the uh, size of the ad unit. And we're going to be using the large rectangle, the 336 by 280 simply because this is the best performing ad unit you can use for your website. 6 by 280. There, there are other ad units here as well and you're welcome to test them. You might find that some of these other sizes uh, work better in some circumstances. But testing consistently showed that the 336 by 280 pixel large rectangle unit works best. Here I prefer to use text ads only simply because text ads tend to get cl uh, the clicks and tend to pay more. Our next job is to pick out the colors. Here I suggest that you blend in your ad as opposed to making it stand out. Blending in a text unit will make it appear as if it was part of the article that is displayed in and uh, it will get you more clicks, many more clicks. Let's start with the border. The border is left, it's best that you don't have a border so basically if you uh, have a wide background which you should when it comes to content uh, driven websites uh, a wide background with uh, dark or especially uh, 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 black uh, uh, fonts they work best you should choose to display no border and to do that you just set it to white and all you gotta do is uh, the code for white is six letter F's. When it comes to the title, the title which is this guy right here, the color of the title should match the color of the link in your website and that can vary based on the template that you're using. Uh, if it's this type of blue which is plain blue, then you just leave it this way. If, it, if it's something else, like uh, you're using uh, black uh, links in your, uh, uh, in your text, then you just set it to black, and that's six zeros in a row. The background, again, if you have a wide background to go with your website then you should set the background of your ad unit also to white. Again there's six apps in a row. The text if you're using uh, black lettering, uh, lettering uh, in your articles then the text of the ad should be black as well. Again this makes it blend in and, and makes it more conducive to be clicked on. The display URL uh, of the ad is set to green by default. This one actually you want to um, you want to blend this in as much as possible. So what I'm suggesting is, and what other experts are suggesting as well, is to set it to a uh, light gray. And the simplest way to do it is set it to uh, all sixes. It's six sixes in a row. And um, on the right hand side, it, you'll see how this ad is displayed. It doesn't look like much, 
it may not be aesthetically pe pleasing but this formula works every time it gets the most clicks your font family um, you get to choose which font you want to use if you have set um, your font to Arial for instance uh, in the text you might want to uh, you definitely want to match the font again to make it blend in and the font size you might want to set that to medium that is a size 12 the corner styles will leave alone since uh, we haven't set a border for this edge unit one of the last things to do is to associate a custom channel with this edge unit you're setting up and this will be useful in isolating traffic and keeping track of your ad unit's performance from within the reports so basically what you want to do is you want to create new custom channel and then I usually as a rule of thumb I use the um, name of the ad unit that we have just created and then click save when it comes to uh, backup ads and this will this means that basically while uh, Google AdSense is scanning your site for the content and trying to figure out which ad to display or if there is no ads to display for that page in particular at that time what it should show what I prefer to do is show a blank space next you want to click save and get code the next step is to click into this tag bo text box here it will select um, it will highlight all the code in here and you're gonna copy this out of here when you uh, once you're ready and this is the code that you will be pasting into uh, each and every one of your art uh, articles we will make this process a little bit easier there's some um, there's some neat functionality within Joomla that will allow you to display ad units across the board just by setting some uh, features within Joomla and uh, they will display this code will be included in each and every page well this is it for this tutorial thank you for watching